All right. Hey, guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Salyers, here at the Music Factory Studios. And guess what came out yesterday evening? Pop OS 1910. So you can go over to the Pop website, which is system76.com backslash pop, and download version 19.10. They have an Intel and AMD ISO, as well as an NVIDIA ISO that has the NVIDIA drivers on the ISO, so you don't have to worry about that if you have an NVIDIA-based laptop or an NVIDIA graphics card in your desktop system. Now, Pop! OS has some new things going on that I've noticed as soon as I opened up the operating system. So, one of the new things I noticed was in the settings menu, you have a new appearance tab. Okay? And you have dark mode, which is this newer theme and I kind of like this new theme. It, it's it's not as brown as it was before, but there is no slim version any longer as well. So if we go over and head into something like Gnome Tweaks and look at the versions. Now there is this little bug in 1910 with uh, pertaining to Gnome Tweaks. If you turn off animations, you don't have any of this issue. But if animations are on, GNOME Tweaks will black out in certain spots. So you have to kind of make it full screen or you lose the sidebar, which is kind of weird. But if you turn animations off inside of GNOME Tweaks, this is not really an issue. You turn off animations and it kind of goes away. It's, it's a real weird little bug, but it's tied to the animation somehow even though I'm using an extension that is called uh, Impatience, even before I installed Impatience, this was a bug. Okay, but in the Appearance tab, we have just Pop Dark and Regular Pop, which is the light version, and the Add Wider themes along with the contrast and themes for those with, with eyesight issues. The light theme looks like the older light theme but the new dark theme looks really nice actually i have a hard time seeing certain things on dark themes but light themes hurt my eyes really badly so i have macular degeneration in my eyes so i need non-material type themes themes that actually have some 3d-ness to them like this button has some 3D-ness to them. The problem with flat buttons is I can't see them. I have a really hard time seeing them, like this back and forward button. When they're recessed like that, it's really hard for me to see. So thank you, Pop Developers, for giving us a truly dark theme and keeping the buttons not so flat. All right, now what else do we have going on? Well, we have Pop OS running I think the newest kernel so it's like kernel 5.3 but we'll find out right here you name dash V will tell us the version this is our you name dash a will give us the kernel so it's 5.03 dash 18 and I'm gonna start using this machine just to as a benchmark for the Linux distros that I review because it's not a super powerful machine but it's powerful enough that anything should run on it without an issue even more heavy desktop environments like no it's a newer CPU but it's in that last year of the the the, the neutered CPUs that Intel put out this is the Intel Core i5 7200 KB Lake dual core um, I don't really use this machine all that much, but it has your basic setup. It has a one terabyte storage drive and a 256 gig SSD, and the SSD is SATA M.2. It's an A data disk. It's a it, it works great. It's got really basic Wi-Fi on it. It's got the Intel 3168 as you can see right here, and. Uh, 
you know, it's not the greatest laptop in the world. It's a little HP 15 with a touch screen. But uh, we are able to see what kind of resources are being used and can gauge that against newer machines or older machines. It's right in the sweet spot of being in the middle. So it's a dual core with hyper threading. It's using 2.78 gigs out of 8 gigs of RAM, which is pretty normal for GNOME desktop. Let's see what top gives us. Let's see here. Memory is, yeah, about the same. So sometimes top will give a more accurate representation. Um, another great terminal command that some of you may not know about is sudo sensors. This will let you see what is going on in your machine. So sudo sensors. And uh, you can type just sensors, but you won't get accurate information. So you can see the temperature of certain things. But I can't say enough good things about Pop! OS. It's not really Pop's issue with GNOME tweaks. This is a problem in the new Ubuntu or any of the 3.34 distros that when you install GNOME tweaks, this is a problem with the animations. The only one I've run across that this is not really an issue has been Solus. So I don't know if that's because Solus builds GNOME tweaks themselves or, or what the deal is. But um, it, it's a really nice little distro. The Pop Store has been updated as well with newer packages and Firefox is version 69.0.3 so you have the newest version of Firefox also for anybody that doesn't know someone asked me this the other day why does why does Firefox have a terrible bar title bar on Linux but doesn't have it on like Mac and Windows. Well, you can get rid of that. If you go into customize and go down here to the bottom and just turn off title bar. And then you can change your density and that's how big the tabs are gonna be at the top, basically, and how big the buttons are at the on the top bar. So as you can see, as I'm switching through those, it's different sizes, that's for touch. I usually put it on compact, turning off the title bar. You can also add a little bit of drag space, but I, I don't see the point of that. But not having that ugly title bar up there really helps. So maybe that helps somebody out there. Also, the Pop Store has been updated. There's newer versions of apps in here, along with a really good app store experience, to be honest with you. Um, the other things here are Nautilus is version 3.34.1 and let's see what else is here that is stock inside of eh, not very much you don't get a whole lot with pop compared to other distros but that's a good thing it's a minimalist distro that gives you just enough of what you need to get done and you can add whatever you want later there's LibreOffice you have this contacts app which can be set up which is really handy um, and, and I can't say enough good things about Pop! OS it's not Pop! OS's fault and uh, cool part about Pop! is no snaps so you don't have to deal with that whole debacle so go over and check out pop os version 19.10 with the new darker theme it's really nice just be aware of the animation issue and bug in known tweaks if you're going to be installing tweaks also one of the tweaks that I could not get to work that I normally use in GNOME and that this is not a problem for Pop! OS it's the extension developer is CoverFlow I usually use CoverFlow instead of the normal alt tab switching because it's just nicer to me but it would not work 
Dash to Dock was fine. Impatience was fine. And those are usually the only two that I use. So this has been Pop! OS 19.10, released yesterday, October 19th, 2019. So if you want to have a great GNOME experience with an Ubuntu base, check out Pop! OS. All right, have a great day, y'all, and we'll see you next time.